We had a student group that was interested in taking part in uh, this national walkout. We uh, were given the opportunity to organize the walkout for our school today. The conversation turned towards how they can show a care for each other uh, and try and turn it into something that we at Caneland believe is very important for us. Our goal was to acknowledge that there are different opinions for each student and honor those that have followed the hard one. Um, we had books that each one of the students from that group decorated, one for each one of the people who lost their lives. We had composite books that were for the students. Part of that was to um, offer an opportunity for in the passing of the notebook is to have an, a visual of that person's name. The notebooks helped create an emotional connection to each of the students. It, it let them know the different personalities of the students that were lost. And then the opportunity was for kids, even if they felt at that time, to just have something physical in their hands to then be able to make that connection of of having something and passing it on and then in that act of passing it on, passing on hopefully a level of caring and trust and support. I understand that it was an orderly process and um, students and staff did as we were hoping and I'm, I'm not surprised. I'm, I'm extremely proud to be a knight and I think they acted in a way we could all be proud of what they did. I was, I was very impressed by the silence and the respect that was taken during the entire 17 minutes. It was kind of crazy, I was thinking about that, how, how, how quiet it was while wow, the whole school is like silent right now. They were trying to respect each individual person a little bit more and I thought that was pretty cool. Today is when it kind of actually hit, like it struck that this is a possibility everywhere. Like this isn't just specific to Florida. My hope of what comes out of this is really what I heard the students hope and that is that we take this as an opportunity to really show that care for each other. We're going to feel the safest in our school. We're going to feel the safest in our community when we're able to truly show that care and compassion for each other. What I hope for is that the students will take this 17 minutes and not just have 17 minutes and forget about it, but actually take it and move it on for the rest of the year and for the rest of their lives. And so reading those testimonies, specifically one about a brother who lost his sister made me realize how this could happen to maybe one of my siblings. And just that really struck a nerve.